There we go, everybody. Hello, hello. I'm sorry it's taken us so long to talk to you. It is not the bottom of a leopard talking to you, but me, James Hendry, will give you a quick view of me just to show you that I am alive. There I am. And on camera today, making his world debut, world premiere, we have got Manu of Kenya itself. That is his thumb, ringed as it is. There is a leopard, a male leopard that Brent Leo Smith found yesterday. It killed a female warthog somewhere around here during the course of yesterday evening. And unfortunately, he is only showing us his bottom at this stage. We will try and drive around the tree. Uh, well, I suppose we could probably do it. Well, just give him a few seconds. He's been a little bit restless, so he has been moving around a bit. And I must just say to you that it is a long, long way from camp here. We are probably about, oh, I don't know, 25 kilometers or so, which is a good sort of 15 miles away from camp, uh, which on these roads and in the wilderness is quite a long time, you see. Anyway, he's, he looks a little pale. He's, he is quite a pale male leopard. I don't know who he is. Um, I believe he does have a name, and I believe, actually, that one of the viewers told Brent his name yesterday. So if, whoever that was, if you'd like to tell me his name, that would be great. I don't know where his warthog is. I have scoured uh, the boughs of this Balanites tree, but I have yet to find, I'm afraid, the warthog. Maybe he was very hungry and he devoured the entire thing. Now, Manu, just zoom out a little bit and let's go a little, wheel, little way around. There we go. Hello, everyone. While we do this, just look at the sky. I know that you're largely used to the Mara being a very sunny place. Today, it has been a little bit overcast, then we had some sun, and now there are little rain clouds and storms all over the place. Currently, the camp is experiencing uh, quite a bad storm, I think. And that could be one of the reasons it's taken us so long to get here, at least to get a signal to you. Oh, this is going to be wonderful. We're going to get a great view of him shortly. We'll be able to get a spot pattern on the fellow. And because the rain covers, I've got to just get a little bit further away so that you don't get the rain covers in your picture. This is going to be perfect. How's that, Manu? Can you get him there? A bit forward? You good? All right. Forward. Five meters. Five meters. Yeah. Sorry about the flap, everybody. That is just a rain flap that we're really struggling to sort of contain at the moment. It's very enthusiastic about its job, but there he is. I think try and let's try and brighten him up a bit. There we are. Hello. Hello. Let's find out who you are now. He is a very sort of... Well, he looks like the colour of honeycomb, really. He's got very, very pale yellow eyes. Turn around. He's got a sort of extended two-spot pattern on this side. Oh, he's lovely. Ha. Isn't that great? Right, now we have a question coming through on the what's up because the radios tend to make everything look like colour bars. Geeky Beth, hello Geeky Beth. You say, do leopards follow instinct or by truly learning what their mothers teach? Apparently there's very little teaching that goes on and certainly if you've watched the sort of raising of cubs from an early age, so as we did with Shongile and Hosanna in the Sabi Sands, you'll notice that they didn't require much help at all learning to kill. I think I've just spotted his warthog. I have way up in the top of the sea, and I think he might just try and go up there. It's going to cause some trouble for us in our picture. <laughs> okay, that is fantastic stuff. And then we've got, oh, Loink, Tristan, warthog crackles on your mic. Okay, we're going to go across to Tristan. We'll try and fix the sound here.